welcome to this back of the net match day vlog. Bournemouth are entertaining Everton in the Carabao Cup, but it's not match day. It's match day minus one. And Tom, we're in Manchester. What? Why are we here? Yeah, we got a home Carabao Cup game of Everton. So we just thought we'd pop to Manchester, mate. Yeah. What, why are we here? Well, we're here to do a bit of recording. Tom's doing a bit for camera for the overlap. The overlap fan debate. Looking forward to this one. Yeah, we, uh, we've been waiting for this one. So yeah, nice is like the halfway point in it. So yeah, I've been really, really intrigued to see what everyone's saying and what everyone's thoughts are on Bournemouth as well. Because um, start of the season, everyone was like, well, they're nailed on to go down. Currently just above that line. Are you so going to give see. Gary Neville a bit of grief? Because last time he was bigging up Scott Parker, mate. Yeah, that was interesting. I, I, I will try and say to him, what do you think about that, Gaz? What, what do you think about that? <laughs> We're going to take you on our journey over the next 48 hours. Hopefully, it will culminate with ball with beating Everton, but me and Tom have just been chatting off there. We don't really care about that. It's the league match on Saturday that matters, but should we go in there? Let's do it. Tom, how was it, mate? How was it? Enjoyed it, mate. Yeah, really enjoyed it. It was, um, yeah, it was nice. The conversation was good. It always is. I watch them anyway. But to be involved was, yeah, really nice, mate. It was nice to just kind of put them little points to Neville about Parker. Well, he's, what he's, did you say? I mean, I'm saying this. I, I saw it, but to, yeah. to you. Yeah, well, um, but he, he was very complimentary of Parker in the past, which you know I don't doubt that he obviously passed all the coaching badges and that with flying colours and looked like the the most kind of intelligent from a coaching point of view. And I think we've all said as ball fans, haven't we? That wasn't the reason he got sacked anyway. Someone's winning. Today. Unbelievable season. He's had a better day than me and I've met JB Carrigan. Um, have you? I have. Let's see that. Ding. <laughs> May. Yeah. How, uh, you know, what would you say to Carla? Alex? I just think it's, oh, it's nice to have a photo where there's a, a proper top setter off and JB Carragher in it. Um, <laughs> But no, going back to the Neville thing, I was just saying, mate, it was just, um, it was it was interesting because I think we all know that there's obviously qualities of Parker as a coach. I just wanted to dive into kind of what does he think he's going to go to next? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did kind of seem to allude to the fact that maybe he might have to drop down the championship, but he seems to be protecting himself, which we've all said. So, yeah, that was interesting. That video is going to be dropping on YouTube soon. Check our socials. And, uh, yeah, I suppose... We better get to a match, drive home, have a sleep, and then it's match day. Good morning, it's match day. Up for the cup, the magic of the cup. Carabao Cup. No one wants this. It's a precursor, though, to what's a crunch clash on Saturday between Bournemouth and Everton. Look, just want to briefly mention the overlap. Really good day yesterday in Manchester. <laughs> Took us only four hours to get back. The roads were a dream on the way back. But it was a good chance to put AFC Bournemouth on the global stage. And loads of people who have got excellent YouTube channels and podcasts contributing everything Premier League. Really good show. We'll post the link on this YouTube channel. Now, before we get into tonight's game, need to mention one thing. Leeds United fans, mugs. Absolute mugs. Now, when I'm talking mugs, uh, yeah, they've arrived. You thought I meant that you were mugs. Uh, look, look at that. Beautiful mug. It's got, an, it's got a red interior. Oh my God, it looks beautiful. We got a delivery of these in, so we're going to be delivering them to anyone that ordered uh, hand delivering BH postcodes, posting the rest out via Royal Mail. But just want to say thank you to anyone who's paid more than the £10. Really appreciate it because all the funds go back into supporting the podcast. Now, speaking of Leeds United, you may have seen this clip doing the rounds on social media. So we scored in the second half. So, follow works, by the way, at Leeds for uh, beating Bournemouth 4-3. Massive club. Um, and it's been shared everywhere because Bournemouth fans, we forgot that it was bonfire night and we saw that there were fireworks in the sky and after the 4-3 victory at Ellen Road, we thought, wow, Leeds fans are that excited by... 
Of course we knew it was Bonfire Night. I mean, if you want to believe that we didn't, that's fine. But we did say it at half time in the vlog. Mate, right, I tell you what, you know it's Bonfire Night, yeah? We are absolutely putting a fire on these leaves. Come on! But yeah, if it makes you feel better, uh, thank you so much for all of the tweets about us. And uh, I think people who have seen the vlog maybe got a bit of context about our whole day rather than a little clipped up bit of video from our, our fan cams. But it's nice to have a bit of exposure from a massive club. <laughs> Um, the second look on that and the away day review is coming out, but all in all, I actually really enjoyed the day, despite the defeat, which is still disappointing. And the EFL Cup tonight against Everton, hopefully that's going to... Oh, we can blow the cobwebs away a little bit and just play some expressive football, expansive football, and maybe that's the confidence that we need to get this vital three points on Saturday. It's going to be a good day, but before we go for some dinner and some food, some drinks and some pre-match chat, I suppose, better deliver some of these, eh? <laughs> Let's do this. Come on! Right, mug delivery number one. Delivery two. Number three. Number four. I need some food. We're at half -star. So Harvester, done, and now we've parked up at Kings Park, and in the distance there, you can see those beautiful lights, it's AFC Bournemouth versus Everton in the Carabao Cup. I'm going to the 1910, can't wait. Thomas Jordan, 6.45. Oh, by the way, hello. Hello. You right? Our teams are out. Mm. Uh, yeah. Go on, talk me through it. Relatively strong, I'd say. Um, stands in, captain. Okay. Oh. And Mepham's playing, which we said, doesn't surprise me too much because obviously he's out of the weekend, but I feel for Hill and Mark Condes in them, them roles. But yeah, it's uh, Travis got the nodding goal, as I thought. Then he's gone for Stacey, Mepham. Uh, he's gone for Stevens and Zamora across the back. It looks like it's going to be Pierce and Stanislas and Rothwell as the three with Christie, Anthony and Lowe up top. My only fear is there's no strikers on the bench. Yeah. Obviously, Christian said he's out on loan. Uh, so, but he's got Lewis Cook on the bench, Tavernier on the bench. There's a few options. The magic of the cup. It's a magical evening, isn't it? Carabao Cup action against Everton. It's what we dreamed of, right? Yeah, ding dong. I mean, it's going to be a, a, an absolute cracker, I think. Um, who knows? I, I, do you know what? I like days like this because you, yeah. you get a look at different players. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a. I feel relaxed. I don't. Yeah. I don't. I'm not really bothered, and that's that's a bad way to be as a fan. But I think it's it's the way the cup just generally is, especially the league cup. The priority is not there whatsoever, and it, plus it's a team that we're playing on Saturday as well. It's, it's yeah. kind of like a precursor it's to interesting. Saturday's game, but. I don't, no, and I, and I wonder if you went across the country and you talked to fans of different clubs, at what point do you start to actually care? Because I remember back in like League One, we would care, wouldn't we? Yeah, yeah. Right? But since the Championship and above, we're like, um, uh, you know, I, I suppose it comes from the top. So if it's not important to our manager, it becomes less important to us. And I think we've had that year after year after year, even under Eddie. They've gone. Yeah, but say, how strong are they? They're, they're similar in terms of they rested players, but uh, they've bought in their fringe players. They've bought in are like Yerry Mina, who are they're experienced players. But nice for them to uh, Begovic's captain. Oh, nice, so that, that's nice. nice. But um, yeah, it's probably like I say, I was a couple out, kind of what I thought. Not the strongest bench in the world, but it's, we've got a few options. I think it'll be an even game, to be honest, mate. You're not going to make any smarmy predictions for this one. Do you even care? Um, it's weird. I always go into games and I think. I hate how nervous I am. I wish I could just go to a game and not really care. Yeah. And now I don't. I'm like, I miss the nerves. But to be honest with you, obviously I want to win the game. But main thing is, don't get an injury. Kick on to the weekend. But listen, I think, I think there might be goals because neither team should be that fearful. So I'm thinking, I'm still, I still think we might nick it 2-1. Adam, he's here. You weren't a Leeds mate, but probably a good one to miss. We missed you though. Mate, Everton, Carabao Cup, what's the score going to be? 
3-1. 3-1. Who, who's scoring today then, mate? Junior Stanislas and Anthony. Je and then another one. Maybe Joe Rothwell pop up with one? Yeah. It's Dave. There we go, 3-1. Have you bought fireworks for when we win? No, I don't do that. No one does that. It was bonfire uh, night on the oh, weekend. Yeah, yeah. So, so there's no fireworks tonight because it's not bonfire night. So bonfire night is uh, 5th of November, yeah. I think, is it? Yeah. Remember, remember. the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So remember that. Uh, no fireworks tonight. Uh, but I might, I might set a few off if you win on penalties, who knows? But yeah, I'm going to go 2-1. Hopefully it'll just be a good game, mate, and players... People, I'm interested to see people like Rothwell, yeah. Stevens. Let's, let's see how they go. But um, yeah, let's see what happens, mate. But uh, more importantly, it's the weekend. But let's, if we win, I'll be saying, let's go to Wembley. Question of the day. You had a burger earlier. I did. And uh, it looked delightful inside the burger. It looked like pure joy. What was it? It was uh, it was a pulled pork burger. Nice. With an Asian slaw, I think, or something Love like that. that. Yeah. Good. I thought it was really nice. Yeah, it was the, it was the burger of the month. 10 on 10. Right. Um, I w I'm, I'm going to ask you a prediction. Tom's right. given his. What's yours? Uh, I'm going to go for a 3-3. Three, three, then we're going to go to Pelicans. We're going down. Lovely selection of mugs in the club shop. Are they as nice as the back of the net ones though? <laughs> this is horrible. Oh, this weather is abysmal. It was heavily deflected, wasn't it? Credit, credit to Asmir. Yeah, you know, he's, he's got, he's, he bleeds red and black, mate. Bleeds red and black. So, no, look, worth but, a try though, wasn't it? Worth a try. You know, the ball was worked out to the left apex of the box, and then Gibaldo cut it. Had a, had a speculative shot, took a hell of a touch, leaped right over Asmir. No job. We've heard that left outside a lot. But yeah, he's got, he's got to have a go. He's had a go and it's gone in, and uh, yeah. Wembley. <laughs> wow. I did capture on camera, but well worked opportunity. What on earth happened there, mate? Throw a goal, blaze over the bar. He almost went for a bit like um, Somerville did at the weekend. Uh, one on one with Travers, easy finish, and he just absolutely skies it. Tom it Davies. Was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get rid of the fucking ball. A little bit messy there, a little bit messy. Good save from Travers. Probably won't go in anyway, but nice for his confidence anyway. Oh, look, Jay Z. Oh, look at this. What's going on with Everton's finishing, man? Jay Z's fucked. Jay Z's down. Jay Z's what? done. Is he? Huh? He's been down about three times. No, no, he's done. Tom, talk me through these um, formational changes because uh, it, it's, sure. it's, it's so interesting watching Absolutely. it from this angle. Yeah, when we ain't got the ball, Jaden's virtually, I mean, you can see it now, Jaden's virtually uh, well, in, yeah. basically tucks in. Uh, they have tried to be getting down that left, so maybe that's an uh, in game thing that we've chosen to do. Uh, Junior's very close to Jamal at most times, and Rothwell's virtually sitting in with Pearson. And Christie's coming inside a lot, so Jaden's giving us that width. But I mean, to be fair, at the moment, since we've done that, they haven't got in again. So yeah. it's probably because of the few times they got in, we've maybe adapted a little bit. Um, we need to get a bit more control in the game, then cause too many problems. But I think Mecklenburg's looks best man on pitch again. There's the beer brigade going down, led by Tom Jordan. Oh, hello. I tell you what, bit of a nasty challenge. North stand are singing off. Referees are taking his time on this one. Jay-Z, who was injured already, is taking a battering. Only a yellow. Only a yellow. Hope he's alright. In the meantime, the lads have got dairy milk caramels. Half time. Raining. And it's horrible. And this guy, go on, like, just talk um, to me. You know, has the performance been okay? Yes. Or it's been okay. I don't. I don't think either two would be great. It's a typical cup tie. We got a, a, a nice goal, like low as a go. It takes a massive deflection. It is what it is. They should equalise. They've had a few good chances, but we're, it's, it's it's one of them games. It's 
yeah, we haven't had we scored, then we haven't really had the ball. It's been a little bit boring, not a great atmosphere. But it's a cup game, both teams know what it is, mate. Um, if we could somehow just see it out 1-0, happy days. That's a bit of it. she's back. Here. It's, not, it's not been that entertaining. Oh! 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 Yeah! Oh! 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 Love it. Two nil. You know what? Two nil. An unassailable lead for AFC. Got the score. Got the series. Number nineteen, Julia Stanislav. I don't like two goal leads. Yeah. So, like, take talk to me. Like, if Everton score, what has Gary O'Neill told them to do mentally? I think I think you would have learned from previous games and said, let's score one more. Let's score one more. Here he comes. Here he comes. After missing yet another goal from the cool course. There he comes. Oh, how many goals do I miss? Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Was that Jamalo or Pele? Cash in on Dom. Pass it on Dom. <laughs> Jay Z is hobbling off. Uh, surely he's not going to be brought on again. I think it looks like they're going to be calling time on this one. Tommy Elfish ready to come on. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully it'll be all right for. Although he's doing a few stretches and stuff. So how many times? Oh, you know, is it is it worth it at this point in time? Is it worth it? Tom, what have we got here? Bloody hell, was that the tackle in the first half? Andy Gordon, yeah. It uh, looked very lucky to get away with the yellow card. Bloody cards, hell. Well done. Oh, it's Julian. Come on! First time! Oh, Why did he take it first time? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh. Let's, let's play Leopard. Jesus Christ. I mean, we don't need to be worried. It's Wales that needs to be worried. It's Elbert England now. Yeah. It's coming home, baby. Wales have lost their centre half. <laughs> it's coming. Unbelievable. <laughs> You're horrible. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. He can be watched. He's fine. Come back. Come back for later. Oh my God. Oh! Stuff. That's probably his last contribution as well. Brilliant, brilliant. Goal from Everton. And it's on about 60 ish, what, 66 minutes. Great strike from the outside of the box. Damari Gray, ex anyhow target, netting in front of the Ted McDougal stand. The ball's been in for 20 seconds. Adam turns to be at 3 to Everton. Right, Tim, what are the odds on 3 to Everton? Yeah. How do we mentally deal with this now? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Can we see it out? It'll be a big boost if we can. Tell me tomorrow. Turn them inside out. Oh! Oh! Yeah! There we go! Yeah! 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 Yeah. 
just that injection of pace from Sariki was so good there. So good. He just ran directly. He drive forward. Jack Stacey will always run alongside him. Really good. Did a lovely bit of movement there. Lovely little touch from Jamal Lowe. Oh, Lots of good decision making there. Lots of good decision making. Yeah. Any more club this way? That's what he does, isn't it? He puts the ball in the net. It's the same as Lawrence in there, just tap him. Yeah, no. Always in the right place. Sariki Tembele. I said I didn't care about this cup, I so do. We're going to win it. We're going to win it. Neymar. Oh, we're going to give you a little Neymar or Dembele. Dembele all day long. Messi or Dembele. Dembele all day long. What a player. Oh. Kitty. So, Tom, I mean, how, how different do you think Everton will look at the weekend? I think offensively, going forward. With Calvin Lewin injured, they've got all their big balls out, like Wobie's on now, Damari Gray's got a goal, but it's defensively where they'll be better because yeah. they'll have Connor Cody, yeah, 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 who's their leader at the back, Seamus Coleman, who is their captain, I believe, yeah. and um, obviously Pickford in goal, but also uh, Tarkovsky as well. Yeah, so, so I think we've been able to get them quite easily, which won't happen on Saturday. But from an offensive point of view, they're quite strong and they don't look brilliant. Um, obviously, we won't be about match, but from our point of view, really promising. It's, I think Jack Stevens will be really good. Man of match is coming out now. Jamal Lowe, maybe? Out, one shout, one shout. Very good, very good. Very good, very nice. There we go, there we go. Fair play, buddy. Thank you for your support all the way around the ground tonight. We look forward to welcoming you back here this coming Saturday again. when we host Everton hey. in the Premier League. Sorry. We're, we're, we're happy. We're Super happy. Cup. Just bottle this. Keep it for next week, for the weekend, please. Yeah. It's in the full There we go, full time 4 1 then Tom. Mm. This is our summation, this is our conclusion of this one. No fan camp tonight, so we're going. Uh, yeah, we only do it for the feet. We're going into it. <laughs> right, Lincoln away? Oh, it's going to be Lincoln away, isn't it? No, I am. Um, or Burnley, they got through, I think. I enjoyed the second half. Yeah. Um, subs made an impact, which is what you want to see. Dembele, he's going to be able to headline, isn't he, because of the impact he made. And that's what he can do. I think he's that type of player in the last 10 15 minutes. But really pleased with Jamal Lowe, really pleased Jack Stevens at the back. Travers had a decent game as well, which is important. Wait, please with Gary O'Neill, he's got that monkey on his back of actually going ahead 2 0 and actually not. When it went 2 1, <laughs> oh my god. But no, we deserve that. They're going to have a different back four um, at the weekend, which will make a difference because they look bad at the back, I felt. Mead has been injured, he did look right. Yeah, they weren't the same. I think when they bring Connor Cody back in, James Tarkovsky, Seamus Coleman, they'll, they'll be a lot stronger. But tonight we're in the app, mate, and I've always said, you know, priority this season is Carabao Cup. 
Yeah. It has to be. Oh, what's well, going on about Europa League? Yeah. Well, what do you get for winning the Carabao Cup? Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. Our, that's yeah. our route. That's yeah. our route. He doesn't realise that he's the driver for the Carabao Cup. <laughs> <laughs> he drove Norwich. He's driving Lincoln. Yeah, yeah, Come yeah. on. Come on. Wembley. Right. Make sure you like, subscribe, self press all the buttons, and watch the overlap because Tom's on it. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.